um, you know, that, that's just a, that's a three quarter ounce hack attack jig out of the package. The silicone on it is, you know, fairly long. Now I can tie it on just like it is and it'll generate some bites. I mean, I can get bit on it like it is, but I like to tune it up just a little bit. And uh, I like my skirt to flare a little more. And the way I trim it is I pull it all down, turn it upside down, and then I pinch the skirt and I cut it at an angle. And the reason I don't cut it across because you'll cut the skirt too short. And so what I'll do is I'll take maybe a quarter of an inch off at an angle on both sides. And then I'll drop it down and look at it. You know, I want it a little bit shorter because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to give that skirt a little more life. That silicone, you know, will have a tendency if it's long to kind of stick together and not have as much, uh, as much life. And see now it's just, the, the skirt puffs out more. So what happens is when I pull it, you know, the skirt will close up and then when the jig stops, it'll pop back open. Just gives it a little more natural action. And uh, basically after I do that, you know, there's a blue bug rage crawl. I go down, they're segmented. So I go down the second segment, which is typically about the right length, and then thread that on the hook. I like the blue side down. And there it is. I mean, it's, that's an old school jig. Jigs have been around forever. Really, the difference in this jig and most of the ones out there, the line tie is a little higher on the head, which makes it come in and out of the cover better. And it's got a great big hook in it. And when you're flipping heavy cover, you know, you can get those fish out. But, uh, but I, I really think I like a jig because of simplicity. You know, I, I can make it look like bait fish, a bottom crawling. You know, it just suits the profile.